Tonight, a bumpy start to a lengthy court battle from the defense team of alleged Idaho murderer suspect Brian Koberger. His team attempting to force their surviving housemate of the Forest Lane University of Idaho students to testify in his defense at a preliminary hearing in June. That roommate, Bethany Funk, is fighting against it, filing her own motion to quash the subpoena in Washoe County, Nevada. There's a good chance this judge will quash the subpoena uh, because the net effect to the witness may be to terrify her, even if that's not the intent. It's unclear when the Washoe County judge will make a decision. According to an affidavit, Funk was in a first floor bedroom of the apartment house during the early morning of the murders on November 13th. A criminal investigator for Koberger's defense writes that Funk has information that is, quote, exculpatory to the defendant and adds it's, quote, unique to her experiences and cannot be provided by another witness. NBC News reached out to Koberger's attorney but has not received a response. He has yet to enter a plea for his June 26th hearing. Funk was ruled out as a suspect early on, police say, and her lawyers say the defense's claims are without support. They also argue the court does not have the authority to summon a Nevada witness to Idaho for a preliminary hearing. She would potentially have to stay for the duration of Koberger's trial. One reason the defense may want to call this witness is they have some reason to believe that she'll testify inconsistently with what she's told police in the past. If that were to happen while she's under oath, that would be a really big benefit to the defense because now they'll have something to cross-examine her with at trial. Funk and the other surviving roommate, Dylan Mortensen, have not spoken publicly about the case, but honored their fallen friends in letters read by a pastor at a church vigil. They all lit up any room they walked into and were gifts to this world. I wish every day that I could give them all one last hug and say how much I love them. Investigators have not said whether Koberger knew the victims or why he would have targeted them, and a motive is yet to be revealed but trace DNA that was on a knife sheath left at the crime scene to him. The murder weapon, police say, believed to be a knife, has yet to be found. Nyla Charles joins us now from L.A. Nyla, do we know any more details on why the defense has called Bethany Funk to testify and not the other roommate? Tom, because the judge issued a gag order in January barring anyone involved with the case from making statements, we don't know what Funk saw or didn't see, but clearly the defense finds it beneficial to their case. Here's what we know about the other roommate, Dylan Mortensen. A police report says the morning of the murder, she woke up to voices and saw a suspect walking past her with a mask on. The defense, as of now, not calling on her, but we'll see how this plays out in court.